Hey everyone, what's up? It's Kahoob here. Welcome to Bitcoin for Beginners part three. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect your Sparrow wallet to your Bitcoin Core node. So if you watched part one and part two of my series, then you should already have Bitcoin Core downloaded and synced to the blockchain as well as Sparrow wallet downloaded. So your next steps is to make sure both are opened up and then on Sparrow, click on file preferences or control P and then click on server. And then on the server type, click Bitcoin Core, which is in the middle. The authentication most likely will be on default, which will then have the data filter showing of where it's pointing to. So make sure this is actually where your Bitcoin uh, core is actually downloaded to. The, it may not be in this area, but just click test connection and see if it says connected or if you get an error down here. If it says green, then that means you're good to go. But if it's not, then uh, you may need to click on this little edit sign and then find where it is downloaded to and point it to where it's downloaded to. Now, even if you think you have it right and it's not working, another option is to use the different authentication, which is user and pass, which I personally use. I just prefer it as I move a lot of stuff around on my desktop a lot and just folders go in other folders and stuff like that. So things are always moving for me. So I don't like using the default authentication. The user and password is just much easier for many reasons um, as well for more advanced reasons too. Uh, for the URL, I, this is what it should look like, these numbers. The user and pass, this is where um, if you're gonna make your own username and password, you can't just edit it in here. You have to actually go over to Bitcoin Core. So I'll show you right now how to create your own username and password. So you'll go to your Bitcoin Core, click on settings, options, and then okay, or I mean open configuration file and then it should open up it should look something like this except um and make sure you open it up with notepad by the way it should look something like this except it most likely won't have anything in it so what you're going to want to do is add your own things into the config and then this is what you're going to want to add server equals one for the rpc username and password you can make it anything you want literally anything you want so I just have it as this. I don't do any spaces and it works perfectly fine, but just do RPC user equals and then whatever you want the username to be and then RPC password equals and then whatever you want the password to be. And just make sure they're not like literally right next to each other, like doing RPC pass like that or anything. Um, or I wouldn't even space it like that. I mean, you might be able to, but I, I just prefer it like this. It's easier to read as well. Uh, so yeah, so this is what you're going to want to add. And then in the user and password, just add that in as well. And one thing to keep in mind though, is once you do confirm this in your Bitcoin config and, you know, exit and save, you'll actually have to restart your Bitcoin core. So this won't connect on Sparrow if you click test connection, unless you restart your Bitcoin core. So once you've created the server equals one, the RPC username and password and all that, then go ahead and close out Bitcoin Core and relaunch it. And then on Sparrow, make sure you add in the username and password and then click test connection and see if it works. And it should work. If it doesn't, then you can leave a comment down below and let me know what issues you had or what you tried and all that. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. You can also join my uh, Telegram group in the description down below. I'll also link a Discord group that has a lot of Bitcoiners in it. So if I'm not able to answer you on time or may not know the answer in general, then other Bitcoiners will answer you as a lot of people there are willing to help. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be on the lookout for part four as it comes out. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.